I bet you I could defeat Fantina, not only in a Pokemon battle, but in a dance battle too, bro. Let's go out to the dance floor, get the gosh dang disco ball, let's freaking go Fantina, you don't want the smoke. Oh man, one of my Pokemon has been getting illegally used in the past couple of episodes. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, welcome back to the Pokemon Pearl Randomized Chesselock. In the last episode, we went up north to Celestic Town, got the old charm, delivered it to Cynthia's grandma because Cynthia do be pretty lazy though. And uh, yeah, in this episode, we're going to take on Fantina, aka the fifth gym leader. But as I said, one of my Pokemon has kind of been getting used illegally. It's really not too big of a deal though, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. But yeah, so we've got King Kong here. And as you can see on the layout, he is the Bishop. And the requirements or the limitations for a Bishop in the chest lock is that it can only have two attacking moves. But as you can see, he has three. He has Slash, Uproar, and now Fly. However, I forget what move he had earlier. But I believe it was an attacking move, right? I actually now can't even remember because I just got Fly off camera and it's uh, it's been a week since I've recorded this. So let me quickly check what did he have before this. Give me, give me one second. But basically, you know, he was kind of getting used a little illegally because a bishop can only have two attacking moves. And wow, this really doesn't want to load. Okay, hang on. We're about to see it. Big Roth is out here. I'm going back to the previous episode. Yes, that's right. It was Stone Edge. So, yeah, he had three attacking moves. That's my fault. And, obviously, he still has three attacking moves because I didn't really think about it until after I taught him Fly. Which, by the way, because you guys didn't let me have an HM Slave um, for this series, which I totally understand, I just decided to teach Fly to one of my regular Pokemon. And I thought Slacking would be the funniest one to have Fly. But, anyways, yeah, so, from here on out, to uh, make it fair so that I'm not cheating anymore... Um, I'm not going to be using Uproar, I decided, and, you know, as soon as I can get rid of it for another move, I will. But, uh, yeah, that was just, you know, something I needed to clarify. Some of you guys might have been noticing that. It's been, you know, it's been pretty obvious in the past couple of episodes, at, or since whenever we got Stone Edge. But, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be using Uproar anymore, so that problem is solved. I'm not gonna, you know, ditch slacking or anything. He'll still be on the team. It's not too big of a deal. I didn't even use Uproar a lot of the time in the first place anyways. So yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. But anyways, we got some math to do here. Now, don't worry, guys. I know that this answer is, uh, what, 15, right? Heck yeah, 8 plus 7, 15. But I'm not gonna uh, go to the right door because I do want to take on the trainers, you know, for the good old experience because I'm telling you, you know, it might seem like we're overleveled right now, but not by too much. Um, but once we get to the Elite Four Champion, there's a huge just level jump up right there. I mean, Cynthia's in like the 60s, and I'm just like, nope, we're getting all the experience that we can right now. But uh, yeah, so like I was saying, you know, I'm sorry about that whole slacking junk. He was kind of illegally being used, but what are you going to do? Again, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Anyways, hope you guys are all having a great Monday. This thing's got Twin Needle and it got a crit. B Drill, big boy B. We don't have to freaking do that. We don't have to poison B either. Just go back to the B movie, please. Go hang out with all your other stupid B friends from the B movie. Whenever I think of the B movie, it reminds me of those videos where you just see, like, you know, the, the videos on YouTube that are titled... The B movie, but every five seconds it's sped up, and so the end of the video is only like 20 minutes long or whatever. I don't know. It just always reminds me of those random videos that still have like a ton of views and stuff. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I've actually never seen the B movie. But hey, I've seen like clips of it, not the whole entire thing. Speaking of movie, the that speaking of movies though, I did finally see. Kong versus Godzilla, and I gotta say, it was pretty dang awesome. Uh, yeah, I actually, you know, saw a movie that I said I would watch for once. Isn't that crazy? I know, guys. Aren't you so proud of me? But yeah, like I was saying, I saw Kong versus Godzilla finally, and 
I've mentioned it before, but I'm a guy that is easily entertained. If there's some super awesome action scene going on, I'm gonna be entertained. I'm gonna love it. And so obviously, you know, the big old fights that were happening, it was just so dang awesome. And I highly recommend it to um to anyone who's maybe thinking about seeing the movie. Because, you know, it was it was pretty dang awesome. I went to the theater too to uh, see it. First time being in the theater since of course the whole pandemic thing started. But um yeah, I think it is, right? I can't remember another time I've gone since it started, but yeah, anyways. It was, it was a really awesome movie, you know, I had my popcorn there too, really wasn't that bad. I'd give the popcorn a solid, like, you know, 7 or 8 out of 10, and, uh, yeah, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Like I said, I actually saw a movie that I said I'd see, and, uh, it was pretty awesome, I was not disappointed. Uh, let me go and heal up this annoying poison, though, on Lunar, so dang dumb, yes sir, let's get it, and we'll super potion, because why the heck not. Lunar's got a ton of HP. He needs all the medications he can get. But, uh, yeah, so we still have, you know, an open slot on the team. But, of course, that can only be left to the pawn, which has to be a first stage pre-evolution mon, which is kind of annoying. So it's not going to be anything too amazing. But, hey, if we get, like, a starter Pokemon, that's not too bad, you know. That's not too bad. And this lady's got a Shuckle. Uh, gosh dang it, you're part bug. So grass is not super effective. Oh, well. Also... Uh, another thing I did over this weekend, to be honest, this weekend has been pretty fun. I've done a lot of things, but uh, I went axe throwing for the first time. And just in case you don't know what axe throwing is, it's basically... Ooh, okay, that... Hang on. Hang on, okay. Um, He went for bide, so I'm going to go for defense curl here. And I think we'll, we'll be fine after that. This should not kill me because it didn't do half. But, uh, yeah, going back to the whole axe throwing stuff, so, basically, axe throwing is like darts. You know, darts, you're standing a certain distance away from the board, you try and get it, like, on the bullseye or wherever on the board. Um, yeah, it's basically that, but bigger, and with axes, and the board is made out of, like, wood that is, you know, kind of easily stabbed, because, so the axes can, like, uh, get stuck in there, you know, they don't fall every time. And honestly, it was pretty fun. Going into it, I was like, huh, this will be interesting. Not sure how much I'll really like it. But I ended up loving it, dude. It was pretty awesome because the place I went to had, like, a ton of different games you could do and stuff. Like, you could keep track of your points, and there's a ton of different variety of games. It was really dang awesome. And I'm actually kind of surprised about it. So, hey, another thing I recommend to you guys is go axe throwing, man. It's, uh, it's not too bad. Um, and the form, actually, like, the form, how you throw it, um, correctly, it actually was easier than I thought to throw the things. They also had like different sizes, so you know, if you want to try out the lighter ones, you could. If you want to try out the heavier ones, you could. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was really dang awesome though. So you know what? Golf claps it up. Uh, that made no sense. Clap it up, you know, for freaking for freaking axe throwing. Uh, twelve plus twenty eight is definitely thirty. Oh yeah, for sure thirty. Mm hmm. I am a hundred percent sure. What? It's not 30? Oh, darn it. Oh, shucks. What a shame. What a shame it's not 30. That's that's crazy. Come on, designer Jasmine. I thought it was 30. What are you doing back here? You know it's not 30. Or you know it is 30. Never mind. I guess that's why he's stuck in this room. Yo, what if these guys are like... What if these guys... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to this theory. Listen to this theory. So, this is a ghost-type gym, right? So, it's already kind of creepy. What if... These trainers that are behind each of the doors that are incorrect are trapped in there because they are former trainers that were trying to, you know, take on Fantina, but they got the questions wrong, but they were like the first ones to come in here, so there were no trainers there, and now they're just stuck in here, and the only way to get out is to beat someone. However, you beat them like every time because they're just gym trainers, let's be honest, they're not too hard. Ooh, and then maybe, maybe, okay, maybe there were trainers uh, there when they uh, when they walked into the wrong door, but they lost, so they had to switch out with the trainer that was previously there. If that makes any sense at all. But hey, if you if you uh, you know understand that theory, I think it's a pretty good one. I mean, these trainers are trapped in here trying their best to defeat whatever trainer makes the wrong uh, the wrong step next in this gym. I mean, and, you know, let's be honest, it's a ghost type gym. We could have some pretty creepy things going on in here. So I'm just saying, don't call me, you know, a psychic type. 
if five years from now that theory becomes true or something, or maybe it becomes true in the freaking Diamond and Pearl remakes. I don't know, you know, come back to this video episode, was the 16, I believe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 16 of the chess lock, and uh, just call me a psychic type. I know I said don't call me a psychic type, but you might as well. I mean, I've called myself it plenty of times. You know who's not creepy, though? Gosh dang, Moto Moto. Speaking of Moto Moto, uh, in my Pokemon Xenoverse uh, live Let's Play that I'm doing, which be sure to come out to those live streams, it's a uh, really, you know, it's a really fun time. I get to chat with you guys and everything while playing this really awesome fan-made game. But, uh, yeah, the town that we just visited over the weekend, um, in the most recent stream of the series, it was, uh, it was like a desert town, sort of, and it just had Hippopotases, or however you say their name, uh, all over the place. So, Moto Motos were sort of just, you know, everywhere. It was, uh, pretty dang awesome. You know, I can't even deny it. Um, but yeah, I think the middle one's the right one, so I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go this way, because I'm just that cool, and I think we still have another room after this, so, to be honest, since I'm fighting all these trainers, I might not even make it to Fantina, I'm gonna, no, I probably will, that was a bit of an exaggeration, we still have 16 minutes left on the timer, but, you know, I want the extra experience, and, uh, honestly, we might be taking on Byron in the next episode, or maybe the one after that, I think, it might be the one after that, because, what I'm going to do, uh, I sort of thought about it a bit. What I'm going to do, so after I defeat this gym, we'll go, you know, what is it, west of Jubilife City to get to Canterlave. And all I'm going to do in Iron Islands is just get the encounter on camera. Then I'll just fight the trainers off camera. And, you know, maybe I can hatch the egg on camera because that'd be kind of cool. I guess I could do that too. But, um, yeah, whoa, that is a Moltres. Okay, let's, let's take a chill pill. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, because Iron Islands is so long, there's a ton of double battles, there's like three different floors, Team Galactic's there. It would take like possibly more than an episode depending on, you know, how long each battle takes. I decided that, you know, I'm just only gonna get the encounter there on camera, um, probably in the next episode. And uh, then dip out of there and I'll just fight the trainers off camera for the experience, sort of like I have with some of the optional routes um, that we've come across throughout the series. But, uh, yeah, so I'm hoping next episode we'll at least get to the gym. Maybe even fight Byron if I skip some of the gym trainers. I don't really know yet. But, uh, yeah, we could be getting, like, back-to-back -back gym badges. Saying that we don't lose the lock because that'd be awful. But, uh, yeah, that's sort of my plan. Um, I'm assuming the left one is the right door because it hasn't been that door yet. And I'm pretty sure it is. Because we got this school kid right here that, like I said, I think he's trapped in here. The doors are locked from the other side, so they are literally stuck in here. Their only way to get out is to beat me. But of course, I'm not losing to... The, I'm not... Holy cow, I can't talk. And it's afternoon, too. It's not like I'm even tired, bro. I'm awake. I'm awoke. Um, but yeah, it's not... You know, I'm not gonna lose to a friggin' spoink. I'm not getting swept by this pig jumpy thing that apparently... According to one of its Pokédexes, it, like, dies if it stops bouncing, I think. Or something like that. It dies if it stops bouncing, or it dies if it, like, the pink thing on its head gets taken off or something. I don't know. I forget which one it is, but I remember seeing that somewhere. But, uh, yeah, going back to the whole Iron Island stuff, uh, yeah, that's just my plan. Thought I'd let you guys know, um, just so I can get the encounter on camera, just, you know, so that you guys don't think I'm lying if I come back with a freaking legendary from there or something, and then I'll fight all the trainers off camera. I think that'll be... The best thing to do so yeah i'm hoping to uh make some good progress in this episode and the next one possibly getting the fifth and sixth badge like i said sort of depends on how long each fight takes and all that good stuff because then we also have a large and i'm talking large gap in between the uh sixth and seventh gym right because you got to go to the lakes then you got you know you got to go through mount coronet a bit then you got the blizzard routes which are so freaking annoying it's, uh, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty dumb. Uh, who do I go out to here? Ooh, okay, what do you have again? Um, oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? No, we'll go to you, we'll go to you. Moto Moto does have crunch. Dang, Aerodactyl. He really do be kind of a wall for my team, not even gonna lie. A rock flying type? I guess it's because I don't have an electric or a water type. Or really an ice type either. Well, I did. Let's get some Fs in the comment section for James, you know, a couple episodes ago. Sadly lost him to a gosh dang Regice because, I don't know, I think I was being an idiot about that. And 
freaking trying to catch it, trying to save the day, and then he just exploded in my gosh dang face. And it was very anticlimactic, so you know, I'm sorry William if you're watching this right now. He, uh, he was the uh, queen of the team. Um, but then he got replaced by Moto Moto, who we literally caught, I think, in like the same exact episode in Pastoria City. Um, ooh, Lava Plume! Oh, that's right, you're the knight, though. I can't even learn it, can I? Nope, it's 80 power. Yeah, if you don't know, Magmordor is the knight of this team, so he cannot have moves that have a, uh, greater base power than 60, without stab, that is. Um, but here we go, let's go over to Boytheon. I think he's the only one that hasn't gotten some action in this episode yet. So this will be an easy one shot against this Swampert. And why do I feel like there's another room after this? Oh gosh, I really hope there isn't. Is there another room? Because, like, this gym's taking way longer than I thought. Not really that, like, you know, we're not having any problems with the trainers. There's just a lot of floors and a lot of trainers and a, bleh, and a lot of rooms to go in. So, uh, ooh, is there another floor? Because, man, this will literally take up most of the episode. I'm sorry if this is a little boring. Um, you know, if we're just trying to, or I'm sorry if it's boring because, you know, I'm fighting trainer after trainer after trainer, but like I said, I gotta do it, so let's see, is this the final floor? Uh-oh, I don't know, I do not know, oh, this isn't, is it? Oh, yikeronies, there's still one more, ooh, I did not know that, which one is this one then, is it the, uh, okay, it's the right, alright, two more trainers, then I promise We'll get to Fantina. Again, I apologize if it's a little boring. That's why I'm trying to keep, you know, the commentary up and entertaining and all that good stuff. Um, it's pretty hard, you know, doing a solo commentary series. It do be kind of hard to, uh, you know, keep the commentary active and make sure what you're talking about is at least a little interesting or entertaining or funny. So, you know, cut your boy some slack out here. <laughs> Um, a video that went up actually about 40 minutes ago at the time I'm recording this was the secrets and references in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. Be sure to check that out. I'm actually having a ton of fun just doing that whole series really. Like um, I've done, you know, Super Mario 64, Sunshine, Galaxy 1, now Galaxy 2. Obviously, if you keep on following the pattern, you're going to get to 3D Land. Or which one came out first? Was it 3D Land or 3D World? I'm not sure which one came out first, but... One of those two will be the next one, then whichever one, you know, the other one will be the one after that, and then Super Mario Odyssey. I'm doing all the uh, 3D Mario games, so yeah, that will be that will be pretty interesting. Uh, but like I said, I'm having a lot of fun recording those videos. Um, they're a lot easier to make than the challenge runs. They take a lot less time, and to be honest, I'd say I'm enjoying them a little bit more. I'm not even going to lie. Honestly, though... Up until now, I literally completely forgot about Super Mario 3D Land. I was planning on 3D World to be my next uh, my next video, but dang, yeah, 3D Land, it is, a, it is a game, isn't it? It's a 3D Mario game on the 3DS. Heck yeah, I totally forgot about that one, even though I have completed it. Um, shoot, man, it's just so hard uh, sometimes. Like, for Super Mario Galaxy 2, I had no way to record any footage for it, unlike the first three videos. So, you know... Shout out to World of Long Plays, one of their, uh, or that's a YouTube channel that just does a ton of Let's Plays and stuff. And, uh, you know, I use their footage for most of that stuff, so I'll have to see if I can find anything for Super Mario 3D Land, because I do have it, but I have no clue how to record my 3DS. So, you know, we'll see. I'm not sure how many, you know, references or secrets are going to be in that game. I think there is going to be a good amount still, I'd assume. I mean, it is a Mario game after all, so hopefully there's enough to, uh, supply for a whole video, but we'll see, we'll see, um, oh, look at Rotom Go, though, oh, I literally just saw this earlier today, um, wait, yeah, I'm gonna switch, because I only have Slash and Fly, um, so, there's a theory that, uh, who is it, was it Binet or Shuppet, I think it's Shuppet, right, yeah, Shuppet, there's a theory that Shuppet is, like, oh, how did it go, it was something about Rotom being, like, in a blanket or something or what was it dude i know i can't remember it now oh i forget it was something about rotom and it actually made a lot of sense because if you look at shuppet he does have like a little point sticking out at the end just like how rotom does out of his head and honestly i can see the connections but i can't remember like how it happened it was rotom something you know and it becomes a banette i don't know i don't know i completely forget um what I saw, 
But yeah, I thought that was actually really interesting and kind of ironic because we were literally just talking about it in the last episode, or was it the episode before? I don't know, one of the last two episodes. I was like, hey, what's that pointy thing sticking out of Shepard's head? And you yeah, know, it was, uh, it was kind of funny, but yeah, maybe it's literally just a Rotom under that cloak. Who knows? Who knows? All right, this is the last room. There we go. So now, folks, it is finally time for Fantina. What's up? She's spinning around. I bet you I could defeat Fantina, not only in a Pokemon battle, but in a dance battle too, bro. Let's go out to the dance floor. Get the gosh dang disco ball. Let's freaking go, Fantina. You don't want the smoke. I'm just kidding. I am a horrible dancer. Um, Yeah, I can't dance to save my life. Fantina would probably absolutely destroy me. And she also has a pine cone, which probably won't destroy me. Even though, doesn't this thing get, like, explosion or self-destruct? Well, King Kong's pretty bulky. Look at this, 157 HP. He's freaking got this. Spikes. <laughs> He's not gonna go for self-destruct. That is just, that is just too funny. Too dang funny. Sit down, pine cone. You little pine cone. Think you're so intimidating. No, you're freaking not. All right, who's next? I think she has, what, three Pokemon, right? I think her ace is like 36 or something like that. I can't remember. It's like 35, 36, mid-30s. Actually, it might be 38. Why do I feel like... No, if that's 34, it's not. No way, Jose. No way. But yeah, the little Mantak's gonna die here. Easy. I mean, she hasn't even put any damage on us. Fantina, what's going on? Watch her have like a Rayquaza right here. Magneton. Yeah, still pretty easy. Moto, Moto, get out here. Four times effective Sand Tomb that will probably, like, not even do half of his health because it's so gosh dang weak. Ooh, I forgot about the spikes. Okay, that did a little bit of damage. What's her Ace's level? Is it 36? 35? It is 36. So, yeah, we were right on par with it. So, I guess I am, uh, I guess I'm not too overleveled. Or not as much as I thought. Lock on. Um, yeah, that's gonna do nothing. Why are we slower than a bunch of steel? Come on, hippo. I mean, I know that kind of makes no sense. Hippos do be pretty slow, but, like, that's just a bunch of magnets and steel put together. Gosh, dude, I literally called it. Sandtube didn't even do over half. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Why is this move so weak? I cannot wait till he gets a better move. All right, you know what? Ooh, wait, actually... Ooh, I don't... Mm, ooh, ooh. I don't want her to heal. You know what? No, we're going for Flare Blitz. I don't want her to heal... Magnet Bomb shouldn't do too much, and hopefully we don't die to the recoil. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we're, we're eating that. We're chilling. Please kill. I know it's not stab, but it's much more powerful than Sand Tomb. Please, I don't want this battle to drag on. Yes, sir. Moto, Moto. Let's freaking go. Dude, I love saying Moto, Moto. I'm so proud of myself for coming up with that name. Even though I think I called a uh, Wild Hip Out on or a Trainer's Hip Out on earlier in the series, Moto, Moto, and that's why I called it that. I think that's where it sort of came from. Anyways, give me that gym badge, the relic badge. Let's freaking go. Fantina uh, is down. And uh, yeah, now, oh, we gotta use Surf outside of battle. Gosh dang it, I don't even have a freaking water type, dude. <laughs> I don't wanna just, you know, here's the problem. Oh, Stone Edge, okay. Um, I guess I could reteach that to slacking if I wanted, but no, I'm probably not gonna do that. I do need to teach someone Surf. And again, you guys said I can't have an HM Slave on my team since it would count as one, as, as one of my 15 catches so who's gonna get surf because we don't have a water type lunar could because surf doesn't have a um an extra effect so he could definitely get it king kong can't get it beefy on moto moto could barry can't get it so it's either it's one of these three probably not hip out on because he already has strength I think I'm gonna go with the Lunar because Lunar. Oh wait, you already have Cut though. Oh, bro, I hate this. Okay, you know what? We'll teach it to Beefy on then. I know Lunar could definitely use another move, and Surf is kind of perfect because uh, it doesn't have its special effect or anything. So um, Lunar can uh, learn it and everything because if you don't know the Rook, right? You're the Rook. I always get confused between the Rook and the Pawn. Um, but yeah. The rogue cannot have any attacking moves that have, like, an added effect, like Bird or Paralysis or whatever, but Surf doesn't. Um, I'll get rid of Quick Attack on Bafion, and you know what? We could still teach Surf the Lunar. I mean, it's not like it's a one-time use thing. It is an HM after all. So maybe I get rid of Cut sometime later on, 
in the series. Uh, the move to leader is in Cannon Leaf City, I believe, so we're about to head there, which is nice. So I might do that, actually, because, like I said, Shaman really doesn't have many powerful moves. I mean, Magical Leaf is, what, only, like, 60 power, I think? So, yeah, we'll definitely probably teach a Surf off camera. Um, anyways, I'm gonna see if I can quickly get into, like, one more trainer battle, um, on that short little route in between Jubilife and Candlelight before the episode ends. We've got about two minutes left, but these gosh dang elevators are so freaking slow. And then I think we've got to talk to Cynthia out here, too, don't we? Oh, I thought we were out of it. Not yet. Dang, there were a lot of floors to this building. I did not realize that. Okay. And now we are finally out of that place. Whew, I'm done with there. Yep, here's Cynthia. Lazy butt that didn't want to go give the old charm herself. I think I talked about it in one of my challenge runs of the Gen 4 games. Why does Cynthia not go give the old charm to her grandma herself? I mean, she's the champion. She's got to have a Pokemon that can use Fly. I know, I forget which game it is, either Diamond and Pearl or Platinum, but I know for one of those games, she literally has a Togekiss. Like, just fly over there. But no, we got to get 10-year-old boy to go deliver to a Grail Ball. Man, I cannot wait till I beat her in this series, bro. Mark my words, we're winning this series, baby. We are winning this series. Taking home the W for the freaking world, baby. All right, I got to hurry. One minute left. Come on, let's heal up, Nurse Joy. Go, 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 Nurse Joy. Where's Chansey, bro? I need Chansey out here for, like, an extra assistance. Just be there, like, ready to press the buttons to heal it up. Do it as fast as possible. Now we can use our ginormous monkey to fly over to Jubilife City. <laughs> Yo, this is so awesome that we literally have a ginormous monkey <laughs> using fly. Just imagine looking up and you see a freaking slacking soar through the air looking so majestic. Um, okay, so 30 seconds. Do you think I can do this? Oh, my bike, my bike. Go, 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 go. Woo, we're in the Tour de France now. We're in the Tour de France. Nope, we got off our bike. Oh, I can't use it. That wasted time. That wasted time. Okay, I might still run into a wild Pokemon, though. Come on. Come on, 15. 14, 13, 12. I know there's a fisherman right over here, and there's an item. Don't be a wild Pokemon. Ooh, we got the item. Cleanse tag. Five seconds. Hurry up. And bam. Three seconds to spare. Call me Terraquake, the speedrunner. Um, anyways, yeah, we actually got a little farther than I thought we would. I thought we were really only going to be doing the gym in this episode. But, yeah, I think next episode we'll take on the Cantilave gym. So what I'll do is I'll finish up this route off camera. Then we will start by going to Iron Islands, like I said, and grabbing the encounter, um, if it's even something I can catch. And then we'll be on to the gym. And I'll probably do Iron Islands in between this episode and the next one, because, yeah, we were, we were what, right on par with Fantina's ace? So we're probably underleveled right now for, uh, for the boy Byron. Byron. Byron's such a cool name. Shout out to any Byrons out there. I'm actually kind of jealous, not even gonna lie. Pachirisu, the little stupid electric squirrel thing goes down. Ooh, Alakazam, too bad. Your physical defense is awful. It's a, literally a garbage can, bro. It literally do be like that. And a freaking monkey outspeeds you. Honestly, bro, Alakazam, completely overrated. No, I'm just kidding. Alakazam is pretty awesome. Let's be honest. I was, you know, I was seven levels higher. Anyways, level 37, nice way to end off the episode. Any new moves? Ooh, counter? Ooh, King Kong. Oh, wait. Nope, sorry. You cannot have... Well, okay. I'm gonna get rid of Uproar just so I don't accidentally click on Uproar because Counter probably won't even work half the time um, if, you know, the opponent doesn't use a physical move. So there's a less likely chance that uh, if I do accidentally hit Counter that it will even do anything. So yeah, again, I can still only use Slash and Fly still. But uh, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed episode 16. Episode 17 will go up on Friday. But uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to see more. And until next time, deuces.